Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to run uh, some SQL script, uh, store procedures, DML, or DDL statements, uh, which tasks uh, will you use in the control flow? So let's go back to the SSDT or bids and uh, uh, to our SSIS package and see which task we have and which one we can use. So the very first task here in SSDT, I have opened um, a new package and uh, I see that in the SSIS toolbox, I see that I am on control flow pane and uh, this is where uh, it is showing me all the uh, tasks which are available to the control flow. Control, uh, control flow pen. So what I have here, I have data flow task, I have execute, uh, execute SQL task, I have some other ones, uh, um, data profiling, uh, execute package task, execute the process and uh, all different set of them. So right now I'm only concerned with about uh, execute SQL task. Execute SQL task is the task that we need to use uh, or we can use uh, to execute any type of SQL files or SQL statements or the uh, store procedure. So let me bring the execute SQL task here and show you the different uh, uh, t t requirements or uh, how we configure this execute SQL task and how we can run multiple statements in the execute SQL task. Open this one. The very first thing you need to do, you need to get uh, the connection type, which connection type you want to use it. You can use uh, this execute SQL task for Excel, OLEDB, or DBC. ADO, ADO.NET and SQL Mobile. So in my case, uh, what I want to do, I want to run my scripts on SQL Server um, database. So I'm going to connect to the OLED, uh, I'm going to use OLEDB and then make a connection to the SQL Server. I have already created one connection, I'm going to delete it and create a new one. So in your case, you will be also doing the same thing if you haven't created your connection manager yet. And uh, this uh, this one re requires us to provide the SQL Server name or instance name, and then uh, ask us on which uh, database uh, you want to do uh, do create this connection. So I want to create this connection for test database. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now here we have a direct input. We can provide direct input here, and uh, we can uh, have a file. Uh, that, that that has our SQL statements in them and we can use them and we can, can save our SQL statement in a variable and use that variable and run the statement that is saved inside the variable. I'm going to go ahead and show you direct input for now and I have other videos if you check uh, on the channel you will see I have used this execute SQL task in different places and that does read from the variable and I have one video that say execute multiple SQL files so you can take a look in that video as well how how, how did I use this uh, uh, execute SQL task to run multiple uh, SQL files from the folder so I'm gonna click here execute uh, uh, sorry uh, SQL statements click here now what's best practices to write a query here what I do if uh, I need to do this one I don't write my query here I come to the SSMS and then uh, write my entire query there, parse there, and if possible, I run it a couple of times and make sure it is working fine. So that, that's what I feel like, because there is, if you are connected with directly uh, execute SQL task editor, uh, here, you will not see any error in the typing or anything. So if you say execute to SQL dot DBO, dot test it's not even showing you any intelligence it's not even thrown error, error there's no parsing here really so you you can't really you know write a 20 line of code here and just test it here so my suggestion is uh, take your code whatever you code you want to write or execute in the execute sql task and write on in the ssms and finally bring it here so let's build a query real quick create table dbo test one ID integer name worker. So what I'm doing here, I am having some DDL statements. Next, uh, I wanna insert into DBO test one values one comma Amir. Now I have some DMLs. I uh, I want to delete from DBO test. I wanna delete everything. I want. I want to go ahead and truncate it maybe. Um, I'm just showing you different statements uh, how I can use them. And I can go ahead and execute any store procedure 
what I want. So I can even say select the red server version. That that uh, select statement I'm running it. It's not going to save the data anywhere. So I'm not uh, saving into variables. Or uh, we can save the data to the variables uh, in the execute SQL task and use them for for the next uh, um, tasks. But uh, the purpose of this demo is just to show you. You can use any statement you like, and it will work just fine. And you can have execute um, any your store procedure name. Also, if you need to run the statements on different database, from uh, you already made a connection to the test database, but you do not want to run all of the statements to the test database. Maybe there are a couple of them uh, you want to do in the sales database, and uh, uh, that's a part of this entire uh, set of the statements so you have it. So you can always uh, go insert into sales .dbo .customer table. values whatever the columns you have to provide id name values to plaza so what you see here i am calling different statements i have created insert delete truncate uh, select executable i can run uh, tons of uh, execute statements uh, execute see, uh, that that will run uh, uh, different store procedure i can um, call a function uh, so whatever you can do in the SSMS uh, and you can run it here that you can take uh, to the to this execute SQL task uh, and paste it uh, as it is here so let's copy this one and uh, this one will throw in a lot of errors um, but we, we are not really testing here the purpose is to show you how you can write it so um, this execute SQL task uh, you will use a lot of times uh, and especially in the cases of when you need to truncate some staging data so uh, from staging tables, so you will be trunking maybe hundreds of uh, staging uh, tables in your SSIS package and reloading them uh, in the next data flow task. Uh, you might be running uh, some store procedure one after one uh, in the execute uh, uh, SQL task. So th th this is really, you know, um, the task uh, th that's we use with the combination of data flow and a lot of time actually, uh, you know, we use this uh, task. Uh, uh, to run any SQL statements. Uh, I do not see any other uh, task that does provide this functionality to us. So the answer for this question is the uh, execute SQL task is the task in the control flow pan that can be used to run uh, any type of SQL statements. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.